hello viewers and subscriber welcome uh, once again to my new screencast it is not the q new screencast uh, this screencast will be the continuation of the screencast number 46 i already did the the recording for screencast number 46 uh, one dot up to four and today i try to give it to you uh, the more new new screencast with the with the with the integration of the different geo geo format data meaning uh, how can you integrate the geo json file json file kml and then uh, gml and so on and so forth and that the idea will look like that way how can you generate the, these files and then how can you visualize those the geospatial data set into the into the leaflet um, and they play the javascript library to, for the visualizations and then uh, how can you produce uh, those data geo uh, geojson data from the geo server services and then import those services into the your file system and from the file system how can you visualize this data into the into the your 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 open lay open open street maps or google maps depending which map server you are trying to use it this is the idea uh, for for this uh, screencast and continuation of this screencast so just recap what i have it in the in my 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 channel and uh, those who is know is my my channel so if you see the picture like that i have some uh, i started already screencast na uh, number uh, with the uh, java web gis mapping programming with the open layer leaflet and then other javascript library and also the another screencast i have already started like java grails web gis web mapping programming and this is one of the uh, screencast that's uh, that's we are looking for this is the screencast number two it's the base completely based on the web gis web mapping leaflet and and then and and then uh, geo server and other open gis or uh, javascript library for the graph preparations so i already upload this only one to two two videos there is a two already two uh, and there are another two already recorded but i am continuing for the for the future uh, for the for the new functionalities uh, for the how can you import the geo geo json data how can you produce this data and then so on so forth that's the the screencast today and if I go back to the here, so if you see the channels, there is another, another screencast. So that means this is the based on the WebGIS web mapping programming with leaflets, very simple JavaScript library. If you are specific to specific development with the with Node, Angular, Leaplet, and JavaScript, TypeScript, GeoServe, and WebGIS, this is another screencast. This is the more really most professional way to do. You can go also this one. If those who have using not using the leaflet they can go also the screencast number this one and node angular uh, open layers geo server op, uh, web gis web mapping programming with that one so that's that's the idea to give it to you or give it to you the how how can you use those functionalities or for from our side and then use those use cases into the your daily developments of course it is the a professional way to do but uh, if i if you have really followed all the screen cards that we have we had it in all the, in the channels you can follow it and then i believe or we believe you can get it really clearly and do a professional jobs so as a, as a as a as a software engineer as a geoinformatic engineers that's i mean uh, as a gis development engineers it's, it's it is highly demand in the market as a, as a software developer or as a geoinformatic developer so if it, there if you, you see the other uh, another example very simple uh, gis uh, gis mapping programming with the open layers and google maps api very simple html and css that means we try to cover all the existing javascript library then existing or map map provider services open street map google maps and then different javascript libraries to build your web gis application or your any web application based on the web gis functionalities that's the idea or just intention uh, to build this screencast further 
and this is the uh, that's why i'm trying to to share with you how can you how can you think about how can you build how can you integrate those features into the your daily development or how can you start as a, as a very beginners how can you start those things uh, for for your for professional career that's the intention of this uh, screencast so if you go do this screencast this is a more really interesting screencast those two who has no experience about the about the javascript libraries and then uh, javascript map libraries or, or third party javascript library like uh, like like node javascript library angular java based javascript library or jQueries or any the graph libraries and then this why i'm trying to start those uh, the screencast to those who are really beginner level as students then they can follow this screencast to learn very fun to learn very fast uh, javascript and very basic html css and then move on the uh, move on the 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 very specific development with angular typescript or java based development or rails based development doesn't matter but you need to basic understanding to get it like how you can write down your javascript programming and the javascript to write to write down your custom javascript functions and even though how can you integrate and uh, those javascript functions uh, you javascript first you custom javascript function with the with the other third party javascript function uh, functions and meaning that like i use the graphs if you see the pictures like i use the graphs so we have a graphs uh, like javascript library uh, available in open source library you just call this library and build your custom javascript library and then uh, build a web gis functionality it doesn't matter how complex is it i believe if you get it at the very beginning level uh, understanding of the javascript javascript frameworks and then third party javascript libraries for the different functionalities or features you can get very clearly uh, in the in the in the in the any 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 i don't know i mean the, any any framework level how it works and how can you integrate those things together that's the that's the idea to continuation of the my screencast today for screencast number 46 basically i am talking about this thing cost number 46 i believe this is the screencast number i am talking this one so this is the continuation of the screencast number so webgis programming uh, or mapping with very simple leaflet and geo server and then other other open street map or google maps or so on so forth i mean that's the that's idea to to build a continuation so go back to the presentation then i will show you what i mean how can you start and i show you every step of the development how can you cover every part of the development and how can you produce this data and then integrate those data into the web web gis application then this we can start it let's go back to the presentation what we have it so if i go to the presentations uh, uh, sorry cancel sorry so if you go see the pictures like that i already cover uh, the web gis program with the specific javascript frameworks and if do if you don't have no experience about javascript framework then you can go also the without any javascript framework very simple javascript html css open layers and then uh, and the leaflet and geo server you can go also this one just go to the, the those who are the using the other technologies this can get us number 35 you can go this way with the node angular typescript open layer geo server and then there's this can get number two and it gets it the same the based on the leaflet the same functionalities i already had it many uh, videos you can follow this skin cast number and then skin cast number seven exactly same thing with the open layers like javascript library and this is the geo server functionality how can you how can you build the geo services how can you communicate with the post gis database build the uh, different services like wms web web map services or web feature services or wcs coverage service and so on and so forth and after that you defining the services call the services into the you your specific web pages uh, you into it into your html pages doesn't matter which fonts font and technology you are using angular react or very simple html and css or any java specific frameworks like timelib or free marker or grails or other template engines for for building the font end. that's i mean 
so this is you can just follow the channels my channel there's many videos about how can you configure with the uh, post